All right, everybody, welcome to uh, the first YouTube video I've ever done. My name is Nolan Daniel White, and I've traditionally been doing TikTok videos for the past eight or so, 10 months now, I guess. And yeah, I decided kind of time to go to a longer format. Um, I can get maybe a bit more in depth, and yeah, I'm pretty excited. If you haven't seen my TikTok videos or checked out my Instagram, be sure to check them out. They'll also be linked in the description. Um, and yeah, I look forward to getting into it. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little pickup video of some stuff I've got over the past couple months. And yeah, just starting it off nice and easy. I'm still kind of figuring stuff out. Hired a very talented editor, Jackson. So thank you, Jackson, for editing this. Um, and let me know, guys, if you have any feedback, um, any requests, any videos you wanna see, or anything like that. Questions, comments, whatever. Leave them down in the comments below. I look forward to seeing them. And uh, thank you for clicking on the video and let's get into it. All right, pickup number one. Uh, this is a big one. I've been waiting to get this jacket for probably two years now. I've been dreaming about getting one of these. Um, this is a Bodie Senior Core jacket, uh, which has been all made and then hand done in New York City uh, in their atelier or their workshop. Very beautiful details. Uh, it's just got all this sort of bird motif all over. Um, and I'm very happy that I was finally able to pick one of these up. I paid for it and ordered it um, in September and then picked it up in New York in November. They take about two months to make. Um, this one's technically a custom, although it is a design that has been done before. And I just had them switch up some things, for example, on the collar and the cuffs, um, as well as the button details. I had them do in this sort of almost rusty purple. Um, so that was kind of the one thing I changed, but super, super happy with it. Um, I definitely got to get my money's worth out of it for sure. So I'm gonna be wearing this for a while. I don't think this is gonna be going anywhere anytime soon. Very special piece to me. Um, and I'm very glad that I'm finally able to uh, pick one of these up. Next up, we've got a pickup from Canadian brand, uh, a friend of mine, Adam Apogliesi's brand, uh, Libero. And this is their, out of their new collection. Uh, it's this like really nice kind of camp collar button down, um, really nice, kind of makes me feel like I'm the Sopranos in all the best ways. Um, made in Canada. I have been sent some stuff from Libero, which you will see, but I did buy this myself, had to support a friend, and I really wanted it. Um, very happy with it. Again, all handmade in Canada, which is something I love to see. And yeah, I, uh, I, I need to come up with some more fits with this for sure. I haven't been wearing it nearly enough, but yeah, I will come up with some stuff soon. All right, now, like I said uh, a couple seconds ago, I was sent some stuff by Libero, um, and that was their Le Mans jacket, which is insane. Probably one of my favorite jackets right now. And yes, that includes the Bodie Senior Core jacket. I honestly think this is a heavy contender against it. Um, it's got this beautiful leather stripe down it. Again, handmade in Canada. Beautiful wool material on the outside. Good lining on the inside. Um, you know, re-re zippers, the works. Uh, it fits beautifully. Makes me feel like Steve McQueen, which is what it was based off of. And yeah, it's just an incredible jacket. Thank you again, Adam. Uh, and thank you, Libero, for sending me the jacket. I'm sure you've seen it on some other people, um, but I highly recommend you pick one up if you have the money. Next up, we've got a new watch. Um, as you folks probably know if you follow my TikTok, I am a big uh, kind of watch geek, and I just picked up this vintage Lip, uh, which is a French watch brand. Hopefully it'll focus there. Um, and it is commonly referred to as the UFO. Really kind of sleek design, um, very kind of 1970s. It's got this really nice red second hand with a nice date window. Overall, um, kind of a little bit more out there compared to some of my other more traditional watches like the one I've got on right now. So, you know, I like this, I wanted to switch it up. It came up for a good deal, so I scooped it up. And yeah, been really happy with this. Probably gonna put a new strap on it soon, um, but I really like the way this thing looks. Next up, we've got a more kind of homeware uh, fragrance pickup, but this is um, some Astier de Viette, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly incense um, this is the Oahi scent um, and yeah very nice incense pricey for sure um, but I've never bought incense before so I figured I would get the good kind to start um, and yeah it's all hand rolled incense uh, they're a company out of Paris but they do all their manufacturing out of Japan by hand very beautiful smell um, it's been making my room smell very nice over the past little bit and yeah I would recommend you check them out if you're in the market for some more upscale incense 
because um, I never really liked the kind of chemically green earth smelling stuff. Uh, so I knew I had to, you know, start off with something, you know, really nice to really get me into it. And then I'm going to explore some cheaper options later on. Next up, we've got, um, again, something a little more lifestyle based, but this is a new travel mug. I've been uh, in the market for one for a while and did a lot of research. And this is the one I landed on. It is the fellow Carter mug um, in this nice kind of mid-century orange almost um, kind of reminds me of like the Herman Miller chair I have you can kind of see back there um, but yeah it's ceramic coated on the inside so you don't get that sort of like aluminum metallic -y taste which I really like um, it's got a good seal on it holds heat really well overall good fit and finish I always love fellow products uh, especially because I'm a big coffee nerd so if you are in the market for a new travel mug I'd recommend you go check these out because um, they're pretty solid on to some more clothing um, we've got this new engineered garments uh, shawl it's like a button shawl so you can see there's buttons here it's got buttons on the other side so you can kind of wrap it around you like a blanket as shawls are um, and yeah it's kind of this really nice fuzzy almost mohair sort of material um, I believe it's mohair possibly with some synthetics mixed in there and stuff like that uh, but yeah I'm a big fan of the pattern and the colors on it it's super warm super cozy uh, I was kind of afraid to buy it to be honest um, because I didn't really know how much I would wear a shawl but it was relatively, or I guess it's cheaper than engineered garment stuff. It was still pretty expensive, but um, yeah, quality is really nice on it. It's very warm and I've been wearing it a lot more than I thought it would. So kind of pleasant surprise here. Glad I picked it up and it's definitely a good winter cop. Next up, we have some more garments of the engineered variety. They're these uh, engineered garments, kind of coated cotton fatigue pants. Um, very, very high quality, of course, almost shiny looking, almost like leather pants, to be honest, but a bit more muted. Um, yeah, they're awesome. Uh, they've got these nice fatigue patch front pockets with even another front pocket on the one side, which has come in handy a lot of times. Yeah, love the fit on them. I've been wanting some casual black pants for a while and I did not have any. Um, so I was glad I was able to pick these up for a good price. Thanks to the folks over at Lost and Found in Toronto. They also hooked me up with the engineered garments shawl for a good price. Um, so thank you, John. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Shop Lost and Found. I recommend you go check them out. Best store in Canada, hands down, and that is unbiased. All right, next up, um, we've got, yes, technically a pickup because I did buy it for myself, um, but this is the new Balf Park Gonzo cap that will be launching uh, Saturday, December 4th at noon Eastern time um, in quite limited quantities. So I'm really looking forward to getting these out to some of you guys, but shipment just came in recently. Um, it's a six panel unstructured, um, cap they will ship with a flat brim, but I recommend you bend them BYOB very happy with how these turned out um, They are called the gonzo cap because they're based off of Hunter S. Thompson's famous Abercrombie Safari jacket, which you can see right here um, So yeah, it's got that corduroy paneling in those colors that you see on the jacket and yeah I'm really happy with how the fit turned out. It's got this nice kind of peak almost like a trucker's cap um, the embroidery on the side turned out very nice Overall, very happy with them. They will be launching soon, um, so I recommend you go check them out when they are available. Or head over to the Balf Park Instagram um, and then sign up to the newsletter if you want more updates. So here's a little 360 of the Balf Park Gonzo cap. Again, unstructured six panel, so it's nice and relaxed. Big fan of how the colors turned out. And last but certainly not least, we have this beautiful royal blue with gold accents PJ set from Montserrat, New York. Um, they sent this over to me, very grateful, um, very nice overall, you know, I've actually slept in it a couple times, it's really beautiful to sleep in, but also you could kind of style the pieces um, not as PJs in my opinion, and I've seen other people do it and do it well, shout out Isaac, um, and yeah, it's awesome, they've got these little kind of charms with my initials on it and all that, uh, makes me feel like a sexy house husband, very big fan of this piece. Um, and yeah, it'll be making a regular appearance at my upcoming PJ parties. Thank you, Montserrat. All right, folks, that concludes our first Nolan Daniel White YouTube video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at um, all the stuff I bought. <laughs> yeah, thank you, everybody, for sticking around to the end. Um, I'm really excited to start making some more long-form content, getting a bit more in-depth into some topics that I normally cover over on my TikTok. And yeah, just uh, let me know if you have any feedback on the videos. Let me know if there's any topics you want me to cover, any videos you want to see, things you want me to recommend, anything. Let me know um, down in the comments below. And if you haven't checked it out already, go 
uh, be sure to check out my Instagram, my TikTok, and Balf Park, which is uh, the brand that I recently started and I'm currently trying to build. Um, so again, thank you for sticking around. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and have a great day.